Hi, today we'll be talking about standard deviation. This is a very, very common topic on uh, whenever you're dealing with statistics and numbers. You find a lot in, in papers or reports about large sets of data, and it also happens to show up on the SAT. So, so today we'll go over what standard deviation is and how to solve problems with it. So first and foremost, standard deviation is a pretty complex topic. It's got a lot of bunch of uh, calculations and you, it, you, we can go really, really deep into it, but I'm not going to do that because at its core, standard deviation is a pretty simple idea. How spread out, whether far apart or close and compact, is my data? And that's what standard deviation tries to measure and that's what we're going to be dealing with today, right? So let's say I have two schools that I happen to survey or, or get the records of. And I have to find the GPA of a number of students at this school. And I say, okay, this is an interesting data to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plot them down on a little chart. And of course I have my uh, GPA scales ready when waiting. And for this, I'm gonna use X's to represent data points, right? And say, so for one school, I have something like this. Then maybe an occasional, you know, one or two here. And then for another school, I get different results. I get something like this. So the question would be, which school has a greater or smaller deviation, right? Does, does, does school A have a greater gender deviation or does school B have a greater standard deviation? And thankfully to answer this question, it's actually pretty simple. We don't need to do any calculations whatsoever. We can actually figure out this answer just by looking at the graph, or at least our data collection here. Standard deviation at its core is is how far we are away from the mean value of our data set, right? Um, if, 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 we're, if most of our data is pretty close to our data set, our standard deviation is gonna be small. But if most of our data is pretty far away from the mean of our data set, we're gonna have a big standard deviation. So another way to phrase it would be, if I have a smaller data spread, that means a smaller standard deviation. But a bigger data spread means bigger standard deviation. So let's compare standard deviations. I notice I have a lot of my data clustered around 3.0, uh, 3.5, and 4.0, right? A lot of my clustered data. And I know, first of all, that tells me my mean, right? because mean is an average. I'm gonna take all these values up and selling them. My average is gonna be pretty high since I don't have that many points in lower ranges. It's gonna be around the 3.0 3 to 4.0 range. That's, that also tells me that since my mean is gonna be in that 3.0 and 4.0 range, and most of my data is also in that range, um, my data, for the most part, is pretty close to my mean, which means, if you'll excuse the pun, my standard deviation is going to be quite small because right, my data is not spread out, I'm gonna have a smaller standard deviation. So I, I'm gonna say standard deviation, or SD for short, is gonna be small. Here, right, I notice, first of all, I don't have all my data focused on a single like compact range of intervals. They're about evenly spaced. And while that doesn't mean they're you know, focused on one area, that is a bigger overall spread. So my standard deviation isn't large per se, I mean, something like, like this would be pretty large, but I don't have that. My standard deviation is large per se, but we can definitely say, okay, it's it's less compact, it's less clustered around a single mean, it's 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 our standard deviation is going to be lower in comparison to standard deviation A. So I'm going to write lower, right? So if I was asked, hey, which standard deviation is the, I mean, sorry, it's going to be higher, higher, right? It's going to be it's going to have a higher standard deviation because it's 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 more spread apart. Right. So if I, I was asked which standard deviation is greater, I would say without question, it's it's B, right? So whenever you, you're dealing with standard deviation, 
take a look at your data, categorize it, order it um, from increasing to decreasing because that makes it easier. Think about what the mean is and think about when I, when I arrange it like this um, in, in terms of points along with, with data, um, is my data spread out? And if it is, I'm going to have a, a larger standard deviation. Or is it, or is it uh, uh, closer together? And if it is, I'm going to have a smaller standard deviation. And from that, you'll be able to solve any sort of standard deviation problem you will see for a long, long time. I hope you found that helpful, and I hope you have a great day.